Yo! What's good, y'all? This is your girl, Drea Rose Day, bringing you guys another video. And today, we're gonna be eating some pho. Oh my God, let me not spill it. For y'all real ones out there, y'all probably noticed I did not post on Tuesday. I'm sorry. I went out this weekend. I'll get touchdowns every time. I won't be. I didn't get it. See? Nice. <laughs> and I got sick. So. But you know what? First, let me prep this little soup here. Since I am sick, I went ahead and got a chicken noodle soup. And I don't think this is like the regular pho that I normally get at restaurants. Oh, by the way, this is the first time that I order on Uber Eats. Um, I was trying to be safe and not go out and get anyone else sick. So I'm going to go ahead and put some sriracha. But, um... But yeah, first time I order on Uber Eats and I don't know why when I got my little baggie outside the door, like it just felt like I was getting a little gift and I was like so excited to open the bag and everything. Like, dude, you paid for it. Chill out. <laughs> so I got the little, um, what are these called? Ah, oh, bean something. Oh my God, I always forget. Uh, scallions, right? Yeah, I think so. So let's put that in there so I can start cooking. I have some cilantro and some, are these called green onions? I'm not sure. This is rice flour noodles. So the noodles actually like cook in the broth. I don't know if you guys can tell how thick they are. Look at that. Let me show you. I'm going to probably spill, but that's okay. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. But look at how thick these noodles are, guys. They're thick af but we like thick don't we <laughs> and i have this stale ass lime i'm see if i can like get some probably not <sighs> y'all probably heard that i actually have the door open so let's go ahead and get the first bite because i have an a and it's freaking late and your girl's sick and I'm like waiting to eat something so I can have my medicine. But all right, cheers guys. Mmm. God dang. Oh my god, it's all over my chin. This is really, really good. I do need some more sriracha though. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update, a little chit chat with me. I don't think I've ever done a real chit chat with you guys. It's always like just like a food review or clothing hauls or a vlog. This is actually pretty cool. Like I'm enjoying this. <laughs> It's like I'm talking to a friend. Hey friend, hey. By the way, if you're new here, go ahead and join the Not So Smooth Ride and subscribe to the channel. Yo girl posts this Tuesdays and Thursdays. But like I said, I didn't post on Tuesday because I'm sick and I hope you guys understand that. Like, definitely a lot more spicy. And that's exactly what we want. Oh yeah, but I, as I was saying, I'm telling you, I'm everywhere. I want to give you a little update and just talk to you guys about something. Mmm. <clears throat> Ooh, that's spicy, but it's that good spicy. By the way, this is my first video that I record off my camera. So let me know what y'all think about the quality and the sound. Y'all, like, 
buying a camera you would think like oh just buy a camera plug it in charge it open it put the memory card in and boom start recording no you have to like mess with the settings you have to check what's better for you that noise is getting louder isn't it y'all probably like oh she lives in the hood hood <laughs> And your girl finally can use her cell phone as she's recording too. <laughs> so now what y'all need to do is follow me on my Instagram. That way y'all can ask me questions on there. And then I can do little videos answering all y'all questions. Like, I don't know. I'm excited. Like I wonder what you guys are going to ask, you know? This is so good. And y'all already know it is Pisces season. So it's your girl's birthday in two weeks. So I went ahead and already booked my birthday trip because ain't nobody trying to stay here in Atlanta for their birthday, you know? <laughs> I am gonna be vlogging that whole trip. And I am going with my boyfriend, my friend Cynthia and Gio are coming along as well. So that's pretty exciting. I don't wanna tell y'all guys just yet where I'm going. I did go last year, but at that time, I actually did vlog it, but I just never posted it. When I went actually last year, I wasn't on YouTube yet, so, and I still have the clips and everything, so maybe I'll add some clips to this new vlog, just so y'all can see what it's really like in that place. Because the last time I went, we did a lot of stuff. You know what? I think I've been looking at the screen this whole time, instead of looking at you guys. My apologies. I'm gonna have to put like a little smiley face around the lens. And by the way, guys, there's something that happened maybe like a week or two. That honestly, I thought my life had changed. I thought I was like, good. I'm like, finally, my work is being recognized. Like, I almost told the world about it, but my boyfriend was actually the one that told me like, oh, don't tell nobody yet, you know, until it's like finalized. And you know, I mean, in a way it made sense. Like, don't say nothing. But like, I just wanted to tell my sister. I wanted to tell my mom. It had been like a day or two later. Okay, let me just tell y'all what happened, okay? Y'all know I do a lot of clothing hauls, um, specifically from Shein. Y'all know I do these like every week or every two weeks, I have a Shein video out. I finally get an email from them. I'm like, holy moly. They're talking about they want to collab and they want to give me a three month contract. I'm like, what? So, I was hella, I was like beyond, beyond excited. Like, I just couldn't believe it that I was finally being chosen to do a collab. I'm like, about damn time, you know? <laughs> I was so excited. I actually got that email Friday morning. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to reply to them on Monday and then I finally get a reply back and you know that's when they told me about the whole money and the contract and how it'll work this and that it was a lot of money like it was a lot of money and it was just for three months but you know they were talking about oh yeah you know and then they'll decide whether to give me another contract and just continue with them well I was so excited like I just couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it and they had answered me so quick after I replied that first time. So I was just like, oh my God, what do I say? So at this point, <clears throat> my boyfriend was already home from work. I sent him the email. He starts reading it. And he's also like, holy shit, you know? And we're all excited, you know, he's like, oh, finally, I'm gonna get a boat, you know, because that's like one of his dreams, like to own a boat. What started being a little fishy, it was when it got to the part about like shipping and handling, like they were basically like asking for money so I can get my things. And that's when it got weird. And the way they like were wording it, it was so like complicated, honestly, because I read it. 
because it was by sections and I read the ending part the shipping and handling and it was just like so confusing so I didn't even put much attention to it I was just focused on the whole contract and this and that you know and actually my boyfriend's the one that um caught up to that and then told me you know like oh from what email did they send you this from and then I check I'm like oh it's a gmail and he's like oh that's fake <laughs> guys oh my god I wanted to cry I just couldn't believe it <laughs> It's like, oh, y'all just stabbed me in my heart. Like, why would y'all motherfuckers do that, you know? If it's not my time, it's not my time, unfortunately, you know. But God has a plan and it's going to help me out. I know this. So anyways, yeah, so I went to my room and I was just like, oh, I'm just going to watch TV or whatever. I don't know what was I doing. And then my boyfriend comes in there like, 30 minutes later and like brings it up again and I'm like dude I had already forgot about it like <laughs> do y'all mind <sighs> so yeah that's how that whole Sheen thing ended and I even reached out to Sheen and I sent them the screenshots to let them know like what's going on and they were like yeah that's for sure not us i'm like oh, why <laughs> you know my time will come and i'm working hard and it seems like you guys are enjoying my content so thank you guys so much for supporting your girl i definitely want to interact with you guys a lot more so like i said definitely follow me on my instagram so i got 700 and 17 subscribers now and if you made it all the way to the end of this video then now you know that once I reach 800 subscribers I'm gonna be doing a cash giveaway just like y'all show me love and support I also want to give back to my fam here so yeah stay tuned for that giveaway so guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button that way you guys get notified every time I post a new video give your girl a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys next time bye